Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. Well, another sticky day out there, and we are going to keep that going into the first part of your work week, and then a pattern change, or at least temporarily, we're going to see a drop in temperatures and increased rain chances. We'll talk about that coming up. Here's a live look outside, a really nice live look. Some clouds, some sun out there, beautiful blue skies in spots. That sun shining at the moment in downtown Louisville. 89, the current temperature. We did make it into the low 90s earlier this afternoon. The dew point right now is 75, so that is very, very high. The humidity sitting at 63%. Today's official high, 91, so slightly above average. The low, 72 degrees. No rain officially at the airport today. Those storms were more, more isolated in nature across the region. Temperatures out the door in the low to mid 80s, even upper 80s, where you're seeing extra cloud cover. And even a few showers, temperatures are cooler in the 70s and low 80s where you're seeing more sunshine from Louisville north and west. Temperatures quite hot in the upper 80s. It feels even hotter with that higher dew point and all that high humidity. Feels close to 100 across portions of southern Indiana and that will be the case into tomorrow. All of us will likely have real field temperatures getting close to 100. And this is why nasty dew points, low to mid 70s. And that will not change heading into tomorrow. So with the high dew points, translates to real field temperatures right around 100 for a good chunk of the viewing area into your Monday. Then changes. We'll talk about that coming up. Right now, though, Doppler radar showing mostly dry skies. There are some showers and storms just east of E-Town. Those are dissipating right now. A few showers and storms near Lexington. As we zoom into the metro, we do have one lone shower and some rumbles of thunder popping up on the east end here of Louisville. And those are slowly drifting to the east, kind of taking a ride along 64. Shower chances going up, storm chances as well. Tomorrow just isolated like today. And then Tuesday, we're up to the scattered category. Wednesday, a scattered category as well. But we'll start to see that rain slide to our south by Wednesday afternoon. But Tuesday, Wednesday will be our impact weather days coming up. So have that umbrella nearby. Any rain showers will be ending over the next couple of hours here and then dry overnight, just warm and muggy, mid 70s. Heading into tomorrow, low 90s, so another hot day, but real field temperatures approaching 100 degrees. We're saying a mix of clouds and sun, but I'm thinking we're gonna start with sunshine and then just have some clouds bubble up into the afternoon and a few showers could fall from those clouds. Futurecast tells the story, an isolated shower early then we kick the clouds out of here overnight tonight. We wake up to sunshine on your Monday. A cold front begins to approach that could pop up an afternoon shower on Monday and into your Monday night. That cold front gets closer by Tuesday. Clouds increase through the day Tuesday. Showers start in Indiana first, and then those scattered storms push into the metro by your Tuesday afternoon. And then by Wednesday, that cold front continues to slide through the region. It's going to be unsettled both Tuesday and Wednesday. But even though we're expecting scattered showers and storms both Tuesday and Wednesday, we're not expecting them to be washouts. So just have that umbrella nearby and temperatures will be a bit cooler with the, uh, the extra clouds. Mid 80s Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 80s Thursday, lots of sunshine and we're still expecting much cooler weather or cooler weather and much lower humidity. I should say Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I mean, next weekend looks incredible with low to mid 80s and low temperatures near 60 degrees. I mean, it's still the weekend, but is it too right. early to start talking about next weekend? That looks good. It's never too early. Yeah, never. Right. All Thanks, right. Daniel. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah.